Welcome to the Desperado. This is where you'll be when you come here. Uh, this is actually field one, so if you didn't sign up, you won't be here. Actually, you will, because we'll have we'll have a stage here. The food will be right here and right here. Dining right here, and then campers all over there. But uh, we, we need to mow this field. I want to do it today, and then we still have like two and a half weeks until the actual event, so I want to get it mowed all today. We have a bunch of downed trees and limbs over there. We need to get all that stuff cleaned up, and then probably like a few days before the actual event, mow it all again. Want to make it nice. You mow it today, it'll start thickening all the grass up, look really cool. So I got some boys coming out. We're gonna mow, we're gonna chainsaw. My dad is actually coming out with a shredder. He's gonna get his tractor out here and just start hitting this field. We're gonna make it so beautiful, just for you. Unless you didn't book a spot. Just about to get started, but we had mail, so I thought we might as well open it. Uh, Guadalupe Gas Company sent us some merch and said he wants to help us out out here. Appreciate it. Also, Beefcake Jerky Co. This is Flair's company. We got some sweet tea mix. We got jerky. We got snacks for the boys today. So, Flair, you the man. Thanks for hooking it up. All right, I'm gonna jump on the mower. We got guys on chainsaws, weed eaters. My dad just rolling up on the tractor. Old farmer right there. He's gonna start shredding the big pasture. These are all onions right here. Get all the onions chopped up. We thought you got lost. We were gonna put out a silver alert. <laughs> but you're here. You ready? Yep, I'm here. Watch out, there's there's a hole right there. It's another day in paradise, right? Yeah, thanks for coming out. Yeah, you uh, We're just gonna shred this pasture. It's pretty light work, I think. Yeah, there's not a it's not thick. I'm gonna go down, mow by the river, and uh, you got the pasture under control? Yep, we got it, man. Thanks, let me know if you need anything. Having your dad is the best trick in the book because you don't have to pay him anything. We've been getting a lot of rain, so all this stuff's starting to come back up, plus all the stuff from last season that we never cut because we never had a reason to. So all this stuff down by the river, I want it to be nice and beautiful and flat and green. I want people to be able to walk through here without worrying about snakes or anything. I mean, you're at a river, so there's always a chance, but get the grass cut down low to be way better, more comfortable and safer for families and kids and everything to come enjoy the beautiful Guadalupe River. I just mowed through all of these plants. They're onions, so they have little bulbs in the ground. These are all wild onions. They go, and then they're in a line. And you can see I just went through the middle of them, but they're in a line all the way here. They go all the way down there. They're in the other pasture in a line as well. I talked to a guy who knows a lot about cooking and kitchen stuff, and he was like, we can totally use these in the kitchen, uh, which we don't have a kitchen yet, obviously, so that's why I'm mowing them, not caring. But these will all grow back. We've mowed them before, they come all, they just come back. They probably spread every time we mow them. But they just grow in a weird line right down next to the river. But now that I'm mowing through them, it smell, I smell like onions, the air just is full of onions, and my eyes are starting to like water. I didn't see that coming. But anyway, when you guys come in a couple years and we have a, a kitchen and a restaurant, and your food is seasoned with, you know, those little, little green onions and stuff, that's gonna come from right here. How cool will that be? It'll be awesome. It, it'll be cool. You don't have to answer my question. I know it'll be cool. You tell them about the onions? Are your eyes burning? Yeah. I don't know what it is. Like if it's closer to garlic or 
like what kind of onion, but I, I ate one. The Did other you? Day. Yeah, yeah. Uh, my my breath tasted like. Yeah, no, you smelled onion. like onion when you got back in my truck. Your hands had it all over. Ten o'clock that night, I was brushing my teeth and I was like, Are you serious? I was getting it out, and I was like, Man, this is a strong onion. I mean, uh, and we're like mincing them into the air right now with this mower, but like. It's, <coughs> <coughs> I've never mowed where I've been like crying. It's just, it's just hard, guys. Yeah, this is some emotional stuff. This is this is good. The stuff we put out, full of emotion. That's true. That's why we cry when we do it. <laughs> I can't take myself seriously with this boonie hat on. I was just looking at all this. It's getting really pretty as we're mowing all, everything and getting stuff cleaned up that hasn't been cleaned up in 20 years. And I'm really glad we're doing this early. Like we still have two weeks. You can see all the brown right there. We're chopping all, the, like, that was all huge bushes. It looked like that. We're chopping all that down that'll make way for the new grass to come up and really green up. And then once we mow it all again, it's gonna make it everything, it'll just make everything softer and prettier. And man, this is gonna be so good. We're picking up logs like this. There's just, there's down trees all under all the grass everywhere and limbs and stuff that's just been breaking down here for years and years. There's still gonna be a lot of that. We're not gonna get those knocked down trees down in, you know, the next week. But all these that are actually in spots we have marked out for campsites, which is what David's looking at right now. He's trying to figure out where all these spots are gonna go. There's some orange paint on the ground over there and there where Mikey was out here the other day. Here's some right here, where Mikey was trying to figure out where all the corners are gonna be, and we need to come out here and clean all this so that someone can actually back their RV in here or can put their tin on the ground and not have, you know, that. There's still gonna be some of this. I will, I'll let you know, it's not gonna be a perfect spot because we don't have a lot of time and there might be limbs that fall in between now and then, but we're gonna try to clean this stuff up and make this like, just as good as possible. I just want happy people. I want people to come here because they're excited. I know people are coming here to support us because they've seen what we're doing, they think it's cool, and they wanna be a part of it. And so I wanna make sure that since they're doing their part, since you guys are doing your part, that we are also doing our part and trying to make this as good for you as possible. It's short notice, no one has tended to this land in 20 years, but I think we can spend a few days and make it 30 times nicer than it would be if we only, you know, kinda of came down here and we're like, yeah, there's your spot. You gotta clean your own spot though. We're gonna try to make it so pretty, but I really think with the weather, we got rain last night, it's springtime, this ground is all like damp and moist. I think it's gonna start growing just green everywhere. I checked the pecan trees over there. They have these little buds on them. Let's see if this one does too, but the pecan trees are all about to bloom. There you go. Little buds on the pecan tree. So I'm hoping in two weeks those things are all blooming and giving us some shade and being all green and beautiful. <laughs> this hat, man. All right, giddy up, back on the mower. latte cool I was mowing and found that uh, also just this little like road that kind of leads down to the river which I've never been down because it's always overgrown I've just been mowing it and now I can see that it probably was a little road I thought it was just um, a random little hill but it looks like this was a road that went down and then went back up over there we've just never traversed it because there was easier ways to get to the river but the river is also really muddy because they like really poured last night. It was stormy and so the river's kind of cloudy right now, but that'll all clear up in a couple days. Man, just like this perfect little shelf right here, but we can't go down it because all the logs. We gotta get that cleaned up so you guys can have like walking trails by the river. I want you to wake up and just go on a walk. I can't wait. 
I'm freaking excited. I haven't showed you how much of these buildings lately, or that building lately, or that building lately. And it's because we have done literally nothing with them. We've been just halting these things, trying to get ready for Booty Snapple Fest. Ugh, but, kind of want to go up into these buildings and look off the top to see what everything looks like from up high. Everybody's like, why can't we go tour the place by ourselves? We want to check out the This Is Why. There's just a 40 foot drop to your death. And like, you think these rails are strong? Okay, they are. They're pretty strong. But they're not that strong. There's one over there that has zero rails. But man, look at this freaking view. I just want to see what the pasture looks like from up here. I think in the future we'll probably clean up some of these trees so you can actually walk. Like right now it's kind of impassable. But make some like walking paths down here. It'd be so good. My old man down here just tractoring along. Getting this field all beautiful for you guys. Mikey's down here with the chainsaw. I can hear him but I can't see him. From here to here is pasture number one. And then we gotta go here to there, pasture number two. I kinda realized I think today we're only gonna get pasture number one done. I better get to it. This is a really cool spot down by the river. Uh, the road kind of goes straight down there and then there's a good like platform for everybody to sit on. So we actually did not mark this part off to have any tents, any campers, nothing like that. Um, we just wanted it to be like a chill area that people could come down and just a communal area. You know, like I don't want someone's tents to all be here so people feel weird going to this part of the river. Just cleaning it all up, but like I also just decided to mow back in there and there's a cool trail back in there that I found. And I was talking to David and Clint about it a second ago, trying to figure out what we're gonna get done today. Cause it's, at, it's the afternoon now. We don't have a lot of time left. And so I was like, should we just kind of half-ass this pasture over here and go half-ass that pasture over there and just get them both kind of half-assed? And Clint, profoundly, this, this is a quote that will be remembered for the ages. He said, Matt, two half-asses do not make a whole ass. And he's right. So we're gonna just whole ass this side right now as good as we can we're gonna get it super cleaned up really nice and then we'll come out a different day and we will whole ass the other pasture thank you for keeping me from making a huge mistake clint two half asses do not make a whole ass thanks mom you're welcome <laughs> you gotta prepare better next time yeah we forgot water <laughs> it's getting hot it's getting warm out here look at that leaf coming there's a leaf! That means that in two weeks, there'll be a lot of leaves and shade. Look at all this shade we do not have right now. But soon, all of these dormant looking trees. It's like in that one movie, Wally, Waterworld. <laughs> or uh, Wally. Wally and Waterworld. And they find the, the plant. They find one plant. And then all the fat yep. humans come back to Earth. Mm -hmm. Yep. So yeah, in Waterworld, plants are they're worth more than gold. And that's exactly what that leaf is to me. Gold it's so morbid shame. though, those people came back to Earth and had no idea how to live on a terrestrial planet. They all died. Like, that did not end well. Think about it, there's no Wally 2 for a reason. <laughs> but that's not gonna be here. That's not gonna be here, this is gonna be. There's no, no, there's this, no this, correlation this, between this and that, I'm no, just saying. No. If this, that movie had continued, they would not have. This like, is where they would want it to be. You're, yeah. you're comparing my event to a bunch of people dying. The last episode, I compared my event to Firefest. If we keep doing this, it's gonna be great. Look how beautiful it is out here. Does this look like Firefest to you? Not yet, but when there's yeah, but when there's no, 60 it, it billion like people fire here. Firefest, bro. <laughs> dude, I it's hope fire. so, man. It's gonna be it's so fire, lit. Fire, dude. Stop. Come on, Mike. <laughs> please, please, come, come on. Please, 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 please. No. <laughs> I just got barbed wire stuck in the blade of this mower, and Mikey and David came and rescued me with some wire cutters. Mikey's about to do some rescuing of himself. <laughs> we are pretty much done, I think. Like, what we really wanted to do was a big rough cut of all this stuff. So we knocked down some cedar trees that are over here. We need to haul those off. We rough cut the whole pasture. We rough cut all down by the water. So this is all pasture one over here, river area one. And I think it's good. We have one more thing we need to do at the resort today before we leave. So we'll come out tomorrow. We got a rough cut. 
cut pasture too, and then we'll do everything again in two weeks. We'll do our like fine cut, and everything you know needs to be nicer in two weeks. Right now, we just wanted to knock the big stuff, knock the bushes, knock the brush, get all the sticks and stuff out of the way. And next week, it's just gonna hopefully be turning this place into a freaking golf course. So pretty! Oh. All right, we are heading to the range because Clint made us something very special. He's a sweetheart. All the leaves are coming back. You guys who are gonna be here in two weeks are coming at the absolute prettiest time of the year. It's gonna be so perfect. We put all this brown dirt on here and you can see the rain has been pulling it all down. Look at that trench going down through. This is why you seed. So there's some natural stuff coming in, but we have not actually done the seeding yet. There's this thing called hydro seeding. It just like fire hoses it all on here. So we need to come put some more dirt here to cover up that rock and then seed it. But we have a giant billboard right there. So we thought we might as well advertise on it. Why did we decide to do this on the windiest day? Like a challenge. <laughs> yeah, this is gonna be terrible. We have a huge sign that'll go up here that says Desperado Shooting Range. And now that our huge sign is here, it doesn't look as big anymore. <laughs> it looks too tiny. It's gonna be great though. We're trying to figure out how we can hang it up here. Does this sign make me look fat? <laughs> the, the wind just vacuum sealed you to the wall. <laughs> oh man, we have a finale. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's okay guys, just leave me here. I'll Later, see. thanks for watching. We'll see you next time, David. How's it going? Gun, get. How you going? Gun. <laughs> Pretty king. Mighty king. So on these corners, I probably ought to tie it to this one. So it like. Well, can't stretch it too, too much. Oh, I see what oh you mean. God. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's you, actually true, because now that Mikey just stretched it out, that fits pretty good right there. Yeah, it This does. one? Yeah. Okay. Yeah! All right, we got three strings on the top. We're gonna just keep hanging this thing from all the other grommet holes. We're gonna come out here with screws and some washers to really like tie this thing down. Right now the wind's blowing it against this, which is like sucking it in tight, which is great. But if the wind comes this way, it's gonna try to rip it away from the wall. I think it's gonna hold though. If we just get a few more ties in there, it'll hold until we come back later with some screws and washers. It's looking mighty fine though. Every time that wind blows this way, I'm worried that we're gonna come back in a couple days, the sign's gonna be ripped down already. Cause we need to screw it with washers. We just don't have any with us right now. And we're not gonna be back out here till a couple days from now. And I'm just worried the sign's gonna be ruined and we're gonna have to make Clint print us a new one. But we put a bunch of little slices in there. I was really thinking this would help stop a lot of the wind, but there's holes. Which a lot of guys pointed out the holes in there. Yeah, we, we didn't buy perfectly straight telephone poles. This should never be hit. This is the last, like, in case something bounces up, it probably will catch it in this. But we also thought if uh, we want to make it better, we could just put some telephone poles in between all the cracks too. If we want to do a lot more work. See, didn't go, didn't, go didn't go through. Let's see which one of these does go. That one stopped too. Here's a bunch of little ones. Hold on, hold on, let me go to the other side. Throw a bunch of little ones. One went through, but it also hit and fell right there. So that's perfect, stopped it. Oh, I feel so bad. <laughs> it's it's for its own good. Should we cut like V's in it or should we just cut, just poke little holes? <laughs> I'm gonna try to cut a V. That's not big enough. <laughs>
Oh shoot! I, just oh, cut, I cut a Y. <laughs> <laughs> that's a that's a V. <laughs> that's a V. I call those long V's. A... I made a big V. Mikey just made a foot long slice over there. It's art. Hey Clint, if you don't mind, just get the next sign ready. Get ready. Thanks, bud. <laughs> <laughs> it's not straight. It's totally angled to the right, and somehow we did not notice. Or the poles are just taller. It's crooked. The poles are taller? Yeah. So we just need to chainsaw them all even. That'd be perfect. Cool. All right, so let's get centered up here so we can really see it in all of its glory. Man, that does look good. Woo! Yeah! Echo! It's crazy that it echoes so much, too. You gotta admit, that looks really cool. And we just need to shave off the top of these poles over here to make it all straight. We'll be good to go. David, much like you, our sign is not straight. <laughs> if you would like to be a range sponsor, all you need to do is pay 14 low, low payments of $100,000 um, collected weekly, um, and we will leave your sign up there as long as you need. And we'll put crooked holes, and it'll, it'll probably let, it'll stay up there at least three days until the wind takes it down. Yeah. All right, real bets, how long till that's falling down? Uh, I don't, I give it. It's not gonna last the weekend. It'll last. I think the it's weekend. gonna. It's gonna last. It's not gonna be there by the end of the month. It won't be there by the end of the month, but it'll be there. Oh, yeah. for April Fool's Day. It's done. It's gone. And that's not a joke. Saw all the comments saying that our container is going to collapse in. You might be right, but it hasn't yet, and it is completely covered in dirt right now. And it rained a ton last night, so it was completely covered in wet dirt last night. Let's go in and investigate and make sure it didn't cave in. Also, I saw a couple comments about it being really moist and gross in there. We left vents, so this thing still does have vents on the front, so it will release some air, and ideally it doesn't get wet in there to begin with, but it does have vents. You're really moist and gross. Thanks. Hello? Oh, it's bulging big time over there. Oh, it is. Oh, yeah. Mm-hmm. The commenters were right. <laughs> oh, man, yeah, it's... Someone was like, Matt, the sidewalls are not as strong as you think. And I was like, this guy doesn't know. He doesn't know. He's just been in international shipping for years. Yep. Oh, yep. That is a big bulge. Oh, that. I've seen big bulges in my day, but that one, my friend, is the biggest. God, look at this. Oh, my God. Yeah, that's not great. Maybe if we just all, all four of us push and try to get the, get the dirt back. Good for you, buddy. <laughs> this container may not stay here long. It actually is really cool in here. It is. Usually you walk in these things and they're boiling hot, but this thing, buried in dirt because it was a great idea, is nice and cool. Oh! Why'd that just close? Do we have a haunted container? I hate saying it when it happens, but you guys are right, you know? Yeah, we probably should have reinforced all the walls before we put it underground. Once again, the demolition reigns supreme. Thank you guys for watching this episode of renovating an abandoned resort. I love you, and I'll see you next time.